Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Cordell, and um, first video posting on YouTube. And I am about to demonstrate how to diagnose a possible low compression um, or low compression, no compression, blown head gasket or valve problem on this uh, 95 Geo Metro. In this case, the problem is that the car's motor, it's vibrating violently, and it pretty much shuts off. If you apply the brake, if you turn on the lights, if you do anything that requires more power from the engine, it pretty much shuts off. So, Based on some simple tests, I've diagnosed a possible uh, dead cylinder. Um, I did this by pretty much turning on the car. By turning on the car. All right, and this is cylinder up. This is a. Uh, cylinder number three. This is cylinder number four. I'm sorry, number two. And that's cylinder number one. It's a three-cylinder engine. When the car is running um, and I unplug the number one spark plug, the car pretty much keeps on running as if it never needed that particular plug to begin with. Now, common sense will tell you whether you know a lot about cars or not, if you've got a three-cylinder power plant and you lose 33% of your power, running on 66%, it should either shut off because it's way off balance or run really, really bad. In this case, the car does not shut off. As a matter of fact, the engine keeps on running like I said, as if it doesn't even miss it, as if it never even needed it. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate it for you. I'll go ahead and turn the car on. I'll unplug the number three plug, and you'll see the motor's going to shut off. And I will then unplug the number two. It's again going to shut off. And I'll go ahead and unplug the number one, which I suspect is the bad one. And you'll see what I meant by the fact that it keeps on running. And that's a simple way to diagnose um, a possible dead cylinder. So here we go. All right. All right, there we go. Never mind the squeaking belt. That's got nothing to do with it. Okay, first of all, it's shaking pretty badly. But you can't really tell that from this shot. But anyway, moving right along. I'm going to plug the number three. And that's it. The car shuts right off. All right? Which is what it's supposed to do. Okay. Let me go on back in here. Turn it back on. Okay. Okay, I'm going to unplug the number two now, and again, the car shuts right off. Now, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the number three. And again, like I said, like I've probably said a thousand times, there we go. Unplug the number three, I mean the number one. That is the number one, by the way. I said number three, by the way. You unplug the number one, and it keeps on running. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it keeps on running as if it never even needed it. As if it made no difference whatsoever. So, the number one cylinder... For whatever the reason, 
is definitely the problem here. So the whole purpose of this series of videos, because I'm going to put it together in a few videos, I'm not going to bore you with me taking off bolts and turning wrenches, it's to pretty much show you how to diagnose exactly what the problem is with the cylinder. Okay, is it the spark? Maybe. Um, and a simple way to deduce if the problem is a spark, wearing some rubber gloves. Okay, a simple, you know, backyard mechanic kind of way to check if this cylinder is getting spark is to simply go ahead and unplug the uh, spark plug and I'm not sure if you can see it there but it is getting spark so because of the fact it's getting spark that eliminates the possibility that you might have no spark now the next thing is is it getting fuel? Now, given the fact that this particular engine is port injected, what that means is the fuel is directed into the port, directly into the port, and that fuels, that feeds the whole engine. So, unlike with other cars, the, spark, the uh, fuel injectors are not plugged directly into the cylinder so chances are it's not a no fuel problem it might still be a no spark problem it could be that the leads are not getting sufficient contact with the spark plug that's going to be the next thing i check all right so i'll go ahead and make some adjustments and i'll get back to you